Hi everyone, thank you for joining me and welcome back to my channel. Since I posted my last video, Jackie, Jackie Chimes, got in touch with me and asked me if I would um, do a quick video showing how I set my eyelets. Um, I actually don't think I use a process that's any different from um, any that you use, but um, I did say I would uh, I would do a quick video, so this is it. Um, here's a couple of things that I've made with the eyelets that I use. And these, if I can get in frame for you, these are the backs. It's not really going to focus very well, but you can see that they're, they're not split at the back. Um, here's some tags that I've got ready to go in some of my journals. And again, you can see from the backs that they're not split and they are nice and flat. They're not going to catch on, on anything. And again, with some more little tags and things that I've done. This is one, if I can get it up to the light in focus for you, this is one where I've used a washer with the actual eyelet as well. And this is one where it's just a plain eyelet. So you can see the, the difference between the two. Um, and I'll cover that with you in, um, in a minute in the um, explanation of the eyelets that I use. Um, when the, This is my box of eyelets. Um, I have um, some little coloured two millimetre ones here in these five compartments. And then these are um, four millimetre ones. Some of them have washers as you can see and some of them don't. Um, they come all together in the pack that I use um, and you can choose whether or not you want to use them or not and then these are just some bigger jumbo eyelets. Um, I quite like these for, um, for some projects but I have to admit I don't use them very often. The ones I do use a lot are these four millimeter eyelets. And then this little one that's left here, that is the sole jumbo eyelet I have from Stamping Up. <laughs> and I absolutely love these, I have to admit, but they are not, not cheap. So when I started out crafting, these little two little mil millimeter um, colored eyelets were the ones that I started playing with. And the reason for that was because I bought one of these kits which is Provocraft and it's a silent setter and if I just move it to one side this is what the kit looks like inside and this gadget is your universal punch these three down here are your paper punches or card punches and then these three are your setter tools and then you have this which is um, like one of the self-healing mats um, but it's very robust and all you all you did with this was you put your paper punch in place push down I'll do it again I'm trying to do it so I don't actually I'm going to have to stand up don't actually shake the camera too much and as you can see you have to apply some pressure to get the punch to push through um, but not as much as I was actually trying to do there um, it's only because I was trying not to get the desk to shake these were um, in this little container here these were the little two millimeter eyelets that came with the kit and I thought these were gorgeous and I love the colors um, so I started using these and so all I do is push it through the hole that I've created, choose my medium setter, push it in the gadget, turn it over so that the stem of the eyelet is poking up, push my setter on top and apply some pressure. So sorry if it's all going to shake. And as you can see, that's what happened. 
and it happened every time I used these little um, two millimeter eyelets um, and it also happened when I bought more I thought it was the quality of these um, but it happened every time so that's actually quite smooth but it wasn't the look that I expected or that I wanted so I was then introduced to let me pop this away there's a little cap in there there we go oh it's because I've got the setter on the end there we go okay I was then introduced to a crocodile which um, I think this one is a We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile. Um, if you've not seen one of these before, you have the ability to do two um, hole punches, um, different sizes. You've got gauges here so that you can alter how far you put your paper in before you actually punch. And then this area here is for setting eyelets. And these swivel so that you can get the um, nodule into the aperture of your eyelet and you've also got a stem here that can if I can just pick that up on the camera that goes into the eyelet to help apply pressure so when I tried using these two millimeter eyelets and the crocodile, I got no different um, finish to how um, it worked. In fact, it was worse because um, however much pressure or however the least pressure I applied, regardless of the pressure, in fact, um, I still got this effect and I didn't like it. So that what it actually um, brought home to me was that I actually got a better finish with the two millimeter eyelets if I used this kit rather than the crocodile. Uh, I definitely got a smoother finish. But when I tried the four millimeter eyelets, I found that it was hit and miss depending on the quality of the eyelets that I bought. Now, I buy these eyelets in packs of 100 and I think they're about four pounds or so um, I get them on Amazon and I will put the link down down below so that you can see. And as I say, they come with washers um, and it doesn't matter whether you use the washers or not. It's just the type of finish that you get at the back. And I'll show you exactly what I do. It's not rocket science. I, on a four millimeter um, eyelet, I use the larger of the punches, I punch my hole, get my eyelet, pop it through and then I get the stem and I put it through the um, front, I call it, of the eyelet. So that would be what I wanted on the front of my tag. And if I flip it over, the stem has gone through to the other side. So I put that nodule through the front. I close it slightly until it grips. I don't know if you can see, I've just closed it slightly until it grips and will hold my card without me actually holding it. And as you can see, I can move it around quite easily. And then what I do is I just let it hang down. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I just let it hang down vertically and I'm holding the grip of the crocodile. And then with two hands, I just squeeze and release. And that is the back and that's the front. Now I'll do that again and I'll do it just very, very quickly with 
um, a washer there so that you can see what it's like with me doing it with a washer. I've got two washers out there. Okay, so again, I take the eyelet, push it through the hole so the stem is through to the back. So that's my front, that's my back. Okay, this time though, I put the washer on the stem of the eyelet at the back. Now I'm just going to hold it with my finger there because it will drop off. I get hold of my cropper dial. I put the stem through a hole at the front. Just let it, oh, there we go, just let it hang down. Squeeze with both hands, release. And that's it with the washer in place. I actually like this finish better, but um, it depends. If I'm um, doing a tag where I want a lighter finish, then I'll use that. In terms of these little ones, the two millimeter ones, if somebody knows how to get uh, a good finish with one of those two millimeter ones, then please let me know as well as Jackie. Um, or where to get better quality ones of these two millimeter ones from. Um, as I say, the link for these four millimeter ones that I use, and I use them all the time and repeat buy from um, Amazon. Um, I love the quality. I've never had a fail with any of these, which is uh, um, pretty impressive. Um, I've also tried We Are Memory Keepers. Now, if I can find the link, I will put that down below. There is um, a packet um, or a supplier on Amazon of We Are Memory Keepers 4mm um, eyelets where you can get um, black silver like a, um, or a buffed silver and uh, a gunmetal um, colour all in the same pack. Now I have used those and they have been as good a quality as these four millimeter ones that I get from Amazon. But I have to say they work out quite expensive. You don't get as many um, for um, the price of them. And I have to say I went through them pretty quickly because I absolutely loved um, having the choice of colors. These, um, these ones that I've got here are all antique bronze. Um, and they're what I tend to use most of, um, although you can get these in um, like a brushed uh, silver um, as well. So I hope that helps. Um, <laughs> it wasn't very easy to, to show you using the, um, the cropper dial, um, but um, there you go. I did my best, so um, have fun. And um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, but in the meantime, take care of everybody. Bye bye now.